Hi, I'm Yvonne. Hello, and I'm Christina. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to Razor Pop, where we bring you the latest news in pop and entertainment. Well, today we are going to talk about the tragic love stories that survived the passage of time. Yes. While wringing tears out of everyone's right. eyes. And you know what we're stories. talking about? Like, Romeo and Juliet is a classic from the West. Liang Shanpo Yu Zhu Ying Tai from the East. Right. And in fact, many great and well-received movies have been made from these legendary tear jerkers. Now, in the case of Liang Shanpo and Zhu Ying Tai, right, there were three remakes. That's right. Mm. Now, the first one, which I actually felt was the best one, is The Lovers, directed by Choi Hak, starring Charlie Yong, Yang Tsai Ni, and Nikki Wu, Wu Chilong. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very much the same as the original story, except that the beautiful art direction and good acting by the two leads made it all the more heart wrenching. Mm -hmm. yeah. You prefer that the most? Yeah, because I actually cried a lot, tried, cried buckets after watching the film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I thought Yang Tsai Ni was very sweet and very cute as uh, Zhu Ying Tai. Mm. Yeah, I, I believe that was uh, one of uh, Nikki was one of his best yeah. performances in his acting career. That's right. He made quite a few, you know, bumbles in his yeah. acting career. That was one of the best. Yes. I mean, one of the best works so far. Mm, correct. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for Young Chinese, for Charlie Young's case, right? I also think that that was one of the best performances. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think she was very good in the film. Uh, let's look at the second remake before we come to uh, Lang Chu's video. Mm -hmm. Now, so well the the second remake mm. was actually quite different from yes. Choi Hak's. Uh, Chae Hak's piece it was actually made in China. Yeah, a TV drama. Yeah, a TV drama, not mm -hmm. exactly a movie. Yeah, but uh, well, it was uh, it starred Peter Ho. Yeah, and uh, well, and from, Dong Jie. And Dong Jie, that's mm. right. A Chinese and actress. Made in two thousand and seven, mm. actually. So well, the TV drama yeah. is quite different because it, I think uh, TV dramas have a way of you know playing out every single nuance that uh, the mo a movie does not have the luxury of time. To, to you know to cope very with. very very true and also mm. because the the script the script is very well written and uh, the mm. costumes are very beautiful and it has an excellent soundtrack mm -hmm. well let's take a look at uh, how the drama series looks like uh, in this drama series starring Peter Ho and, and Dong Jie, Jie. Mm. Yeah. it was also thought as the best of all the remakes mm -hmm. yeah even though it's like everything is stretched out uh, because you were saying that movies is a condensed version right mm -hmm. this one is straight stretched out so we can actually see the exquisite performance of the star-crossed lovers played by Peter Ho and Dong Jie. Well, on top of that, it mm. does have a beautiful soundtrack, uh, fantastic costumes as well as a well-written script exactly. and it was meticulously made. <laughs> Reason one is the butterfly lovers Wu Xia Liang Chu. Mm -hmm. Okay, now even in this version, right, Liang Shan Po actually becomes Liang Zhong Shan, and Chu Ying Tai becomes Chu Yan Zhi. So this, the plot of this story is loosely based on the original tale, and has many action sequences added to loosely, it. Loosely? Why loosely? Because it's not exactly the same. So what 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 parts did they change? They added a lot of Wu Xia elements, the martial arts element, a lot of fighting, a lot of jumping onto the roofs and flying from this tree to that tree. Okay, Which I so it's more like good. a crouching tiger mixed with, you know, yeah. Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, the tragic, so. uh, a tragedy. And there's this focus on butterflies. Because yeah. it's called yeah. butterflies yeah. lovers. Yeah. And, uh, and actually, um, this uh, Charlene Choi, is right, her knife, her sword actually, uh, was engraved with a butterfly. And uh, for this uh, Wu Chun who played the male lead, I sense, his sword was also... I sense uh, post-movie merchandise coming up really soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah swords yeah. and butterflies. Well, it seems quite targeted at today's today's audience, actually. Yes. Uh, lots of action scenes, uh, lots mm. of you know heart-pumping action, as compared to, you know, long, weepy scenes. Yeah, that's quite true. Mm. And I'm sure a lot of girls will be very fascinated with Wu Chun, who plays a very, very big role in the movie and has a lot of... Very, very exciting action sequences in the And he's movie. got very, very big muscles also. Yeah, and hunky. And yeah, that helps, yeah. Yeah, and the best thing is, I saw him just now. Just I a see, few hours ago. You, you still have stars twinkling in your eyes. Yeah, yeah I was like soon <laughs> by his like very, very handsome, perfect look. I'm sure you were. Yeah. Yep, yep. So I, I actually found out that he's from Brunei. 
Yeah, he was mm. from Brunei. Yeah, and because he acted in a lot of Taiwanese idol serials, I never thought that he was actually from Brunei, and he speaks actually pretty good English. Mm. And he was a model in Singapore before too. In mm -hmm. fact, he started out his career as a model in Singapore. So, mm. Wuchun once lived on our sunny island, did he? Yeah, he did. Okay. So I want to share the same ground as him. Mm. Like you. Now you kiss <laughs> like the ground everyone. he walks on, you can kiss <laughs> good old Singapore soul then. That's quite true. Shall we take a look at the VT? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the video where yes. she interviews Wuchun. Wuchun. And he will tell you a little bit more about butterfly lovers too. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Christina and today I'm at a press conference of the film Butterfly Lovers starring Shaling Choi and Wu Chun. And the most exciting part is I'm going to meet the leading man Wu Chun himself very, very soon. Now, according to his female co-stars, Wu Chun is the 100% guy that every woman wants to date, to marry, to kiss. And in an exclusive interview with Razor TV, I'm going to find out for you if he's really that perfect. 今天当中男主角吴尊来到新加坡我们掌声欢迎吴尊欢迎第一次演电影然后又是演古装辛苦吗其实就是很兴奋多么辛苦其实他是很辛苦因为要打然后要穿古装然后又夏天然后要在那边
？才华、嗯，其实我自己本身，我觉得对运动这方面是比较有才华，对。然后，呃，假如学一些东西，嗯、呃。也不会说学到很慢了，对啊。可是我觉得比较比较不习惯的，就是可能像啊，进、呃、入这个圈子，对，因为我觉得进入这个圈子要表演要唱歌，是我之前从年轻到我，哎、欸，不是从年轻从小到我到我现在也没有多老啦，<笑>都啊、呃、比较一个没有尝试过的东西，所以进入这个圈子。是一个很大的挑战，对我来讲。嗯、mm, ，那 What role have you acted that most describe you？ 呃，我觉得比较像啊， mm. 应该是《花样少年少女》吧。Mm. 对啊，因为在里面他也是一个很喜欢运动的， mm. 呃，然后他也是一个呃，因为他也一直保护着女主角。对， mm. 然后自己自己有想过，假如你遇到一个你喜欢的人， mm. 那我也会用尽办法去保护他。Mm. 对啊。What do you think makes you so popular? 嗯，这个应该是可能是幸运嘛。我觉得就是拍了戏啊，大家喜欢看啊。然后，嗯嗯，也很感谢大家这么支持我。Okay. 对。Now in the movie Butterfly Lovers, you are a perfect lover. Now, but in in reality, are you also a perfect lover yourself? 一个完美的情人。嗯。我觉得我是哦<笑>，没有，我觉得说，假如我有一个我喜欢的人，我会，呃，我会很珍惜这段感情，嗯、然后会想尽办法把这段感情就是，呃，经营的越越越来越好，大家越来越开心，因为我觉得说，呃，一个一段爱情本来就是互相的，对，然后大家要互相对这个爱情有一些。input 就是要牺牲一点， okay. 就会越来越好了。Mm-hmm. 对，所以我我会啊，我会，我会为爱情去争取。OK， 那吴尊又会演戏，又会唱歌，又会跳舞，又会运动。你其实自己本身最喜欢什么？我当然是最喜欢是。运动，嗯，所以因为我之前还没进这个圈子的时候，我是那种每一天都运动的。可是现在因为进这个圈子，我很喜欢的是，呃，你有办法，你有这个能力去影响到一些支持你的人，然后可能你可以鼓励到他们。然后我每次就是跟那些支持我的朋友们见面啊，比如说有什么 fans meeting 那种，我都非常的开心。对啊。Okay. Could you tell us why it's so perfect about your co-star Shalin Choi? 他哦，嗯、呃，我觉得大家都知道他是一个目前目前跟幕后都差不多一样的一个人，对，因为他是一个对待每一个人都非常非常的 nice， 然后他也是，呃，因为他是一个前辈嘛，他进入这圈子很久了，然后他也他也会跟我 share 一些他的 experience 这样子，所以我觉得，嗯、呃，跟他合作其实非常幸运，对，很开心，然后他又是一个很孝顺的人，跟你一样。嗯<笑> ，Okay, so if you can have a perfect life, what will your perfect life be like? 呃，我觉得就是家庭很重要。Hey. 那我希望就是，假如以后的生活可以就跟家人啊，可以很很开心的过生活。比如说，可以带他们去旅游啊什么的，就会是一个很 perfect 的 life。对啊，对我来讲。好、嗯、，Thank you for talking with us today, Wu Chen. 谢谢，谢谢你。非常谢谢。So, you better catch you before you break into a faint. Ah, huh? uh, yeah, I'm just giddy and swooning and thinking. What do you like best? What do you like best about Wu Jun? I mean, you're sitting right up close next to him. I think he's very polite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's very gentlemanly, very polite, very humble. Yeah, he has no airs at all. Mm-hmm. And he tries to laugh after you before we start the interview. He's like, "How do you feel today?" And oh, yeah, from Razor TV. Can you tell me a little bit more about Razor TV? And then we start the interview. Oh yeah. Okay, so he's a he's polite, Mister Nice Guy. Yeah, he's very friendly, very approachable. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't put on airs at all. Sort of、mm. shows in the you know the characters he chooses to play and、yeah. his the drama choices that he makes、yes. and all that. He's always Mr. Nice Guy, always, and he's he's twenty nine, isn't he? Yeah, he's twenty nine. He's、yeah. always acting in parts that are like high school kids <laughs> and at most well, I guess that's at most university kids. He has this really young boyish look, and he's got、mm. a body that doesn't that doesn't match his face. His yeah, he's face. he's very hunky, but his face、yeah. is just like boyish and refined, very refined yeah. features. Yeah, Pretty than a girl. He's actually a gym instructor, isn't he as well?、Mm. And、it、he、is. owns a, a chain of fitness、uh, fitness centers in、yes. Brunei,、mm. 
Well, it's quite an enterprising young man as well. Eh? He, and he actually also played for the Brunei national basketball team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember in most of his drama series, he, he's always playing basketball. It's like full exploitation of this young man's talent. Yeah, like recently, he actually acted with uh, Yan Cheng Shi, Jerry mm. Yan, mm-hmm. and uh, Shou Lo in this uh, Taiwanese serial called Lan Chiu Huo. Also mm. about basketball. Mm. Well, basketball... Yeah, he well, loves basketball. Well, that's that's Wu Chun for you. He's yeah. a hunk who once lived in Singapore. A 100% perfect guy, beautiful man. Yes, can cook, can, well, short of sewing. <laughs> can and looks very good. Else. Yeah. Well, before we end today's Razor Pop, we're going to give you Razor Pop's top five films that feature feminine heroes who cross dress to pursue love, romance, their true selves, or a better life. Let's check out these five films that inspire all women to cross jazz or should I say bring out the courage in all of us to pursue what we really want. <laughs> so first up, Shakespeare in Love, of course. Well, we have Shakespeare in Love, which centers around the forbidden love of William Shakespeare, played by Joseph Fiennes, and a noble woman, Viola de Lesseps, played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Will, Smith, Will Shakespeare is suffering from writer's block and has not completed his play but begins auditions for Romeo's part. A boy named Thomas Kent is cast in the role after impressing Shakespeare with his performance and his love of Shakespeare's previous work. However, the handsome lad is actually a young noblewoman, Viola de Lesseps. Her dream is to act, but as women were barred from the stage, she must disguise herself as a young man in order to fulfill her dream. And as all passionate love stories go, Shakespeare fell in love with her after discovering her true identity. Who <laughs> <laughs> was? Such a beautiful young lady. Now, Mulan is second on the list. Now, this animation film is about a female heroine named Mulan who dressed as a man to go to war for her father. Now, when the Hans, led by the ruthless Shan Yu, evade, invaded China, the emperor commands a general mobilization in which each family is given a conscription notice. Now, Hua Chou, having no son to fight, is forced to enlist despite his age and disability. Now, Hua Mulan, his daughter, actually poses as a man and flees to join the army in his place. Well, third place is he's a woman, she's a man. Well, this sweet Hong Kong comedy that stars the late Leslie Cheung and ex-Miss Hong Kong, Anita Yuan. Well, Wing, played by Anita, is a sassy girl who deeply idolizes Rose, played by Karina Lau, a pop singer. And Rose's boyfriend, top record producer and songwriter, Sam, which is played by Leslie Cheung. Well, Rose has been groomed by Sam, achieving stardom and international acclaim. But with his success, Sam decides to try his hand at bringing up a male singer. Wing, desperate to make, meet her idols, seizes this opportunity and enters the contest disguised as a male. Uh, as a male. <laughs> as a male. <laughs> in complete darkness. As they would have. <laughs> yes, as a meal in complete darkness. That's the light stick. That's the famous lift moment. That's right. Yep. Okay, and next up is Baran. Now, Baran is actually um, fourth on the list, and this is a moving Iranian film uh, made in 2001. It's about the maturing of the character Latif and his silent romantic interest in an Afghan refugee. Baran in the construction site where he works. Now, Latif is sore about losing his comfortable job at a construction site and continuously. Torment Ramet. Ramet, who he feels puts him in such an unfortunate situation. However, he learns by accident later that Ramet is actually a girl. Oh, Ramet! It's a girl! Yeah, and of course the guy falls in love with the female heroine after realizing that he is a girl. It's a shame. He's peeping at her. Not very nice. You don't peep at your friends. Exactly. Male or female? Yeah. Well, this is the famous scene where a person goes up a staircase. And starts buying on the girl. And last but not least, we move to Taiwanese Ida Zero based on Japanese manga Hana Kimi. Well, Lu Ruixi, played by Ella Chen, watches a documentary on the Taiwanese, Taiwanese high jumper Zhou Yichuan, who is played by Wu Chun, once again, Wu Chun, 
Yes. Inspired by his jumps, Racy decided that she wants to meet her idol and therefore transfers to Yinkai University, which he attends in Taiwan. However, the school is, as you have it, an all-boys school, and thus Racy has to disguise herself as a boy in order to attend the school. Uh, one day, Racy gets knocked unconscious during gets knocked unconscious during a soccer match, and so Chen aids by well taking her to the school doctor. But as you have seen, he can grind <laughs> grabs her the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, and, and and he discovered that she is in fact a girl. Hmm. He keeps her her identity a secret from everyone, including Racy herself, and their relationship begins to blossom. Hmm. Hey Yvonne, will you cross dress as a guy to pursue the guy that you love? I'm not very sure. So bye bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> Don't ask me difficult questions. Oh, I'm gonna ask you again. <laughs> okay, we'll see you. Uh, because up next is rage, rage, where we talk about beef.